Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to play with some makeup that I haven't used in a hot minute. So one of our patrons gave me an idea, a video idea basically, and I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna film that. So she said she wanted to see some things that I haven't used in a while. And I was talking about the Lancome foundation and I have not shown this much on my channel. Reason being it's too dark for me. It's just enlightened me to film this video to film other stuff I haven't used in a while. For example, Ginger Orange. This chocolate palette, this was featured in not last year's gift set, the year before the Christmas gift set. And then I've got some other bits, Too Faced, I Heart Revolution, Pretty Little Thing, and I can see an old powder that I'm gonna use. Yeah, I don't wanna show it for now. Let's just get into the video. But yeah, this video is gonna be sort of like a shop my stash video, sort of thing, I'd say. If you're interested to see what I'm gonna put on my face, then carry watching, hit subscribe. If you wanna be part of my Patreon, I'll leave it down below. And yeah, let's go. I'm just thinking now, what primer have I not used in a while? I have prepped my skin and my lips off camera. I did use the iHeart Revolution Dewy Drops as a serum. And then I used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Moisturizer on top. And then I went into my Jeffree Star Banana Fish Lip Mask. This, I want to be coated in this. This, this smells so incredible. There's a hair in it. Husky hair. <laughs> um... Yeah, my Bugs Bunny lip oil is literally nearly empty already and I haven't even had it for like a couple of months of that. So for my primers, I'm literally down to, surely not. Oh God, yeah, because I used up the Tasty Watermelon. Okay, so I do have a backup of the e.l.f. primer, which is this one, the iHeart Revolution e.l.f. That's my backup. I'm not going to open it yet until I've used all these up. I have the Fenty Soft Skin primer and the unicorn heart glow primer i'm literally running out of primers i do have the i heart revolution dewy drops which i sometimes use as primer but i've used it as a serum today so it's gonna be either these two i think i'm gonna go with this because i have used that in a hot minute though this challenge is a fail already <laughs> um i'm gonna go with what i love right now i do like the fenty one but this is just this is just my happiness right now. Um, nearly all gone and I've had it a lot longer than the Fenty one so I kind of want to make use of this before I buy anything else. Um, but yeah, I'm doing great with my primers at the minute. Like, panning eyeshadow? I can't. <laughs> but panning primers? Yeah. Um, this is refreshing. So, did I even mention where it is? It's the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow Serum Primer really like this i've always liked it since i got it it is quite a glowy primer reason why i like it i'm nearly all gone okay so i'm gonna go my brows first i haven't used this in a while this is the w7 brow stick actually no i have used it in a while i'm terrible at this challenge i'm gonna go with the abh brow freeze wax i think it's just as good as the w7 brow stickles i think this has got more of a stay put in power to it though i think it's more long lasting and it still looks fresh Sometimes I've seen some brow products, especially like this formula, it's gone a bit funky. But this one has not changed at all with how it's looking. Right, I'm gonna go to the eyeshadow palette now. This is I Heart Revolution and Ginger and Orange palette. This came in one of their Christmas gift sets, so I think it is still exclusive. I'm sorry if you can't get this anymore. I don't think they did sell these individually. I can't remember. You'll just have to check in the description box below or just on the website. Very autumn shades. I have no idea what look to do. This always happens, I never know. I'm gonna go in my Beauty Bay eye base. I need to look back on my videos to see what kind of look I've done this palette so I'm not repeating myself. I've just looked back on my videos. I haven't really used this much, this shade. So I'm gonna make a start on that first. So this shade is called Cider. Uh, I'm just gonna put this everywhere for now oh i might use this with i might do an orange typical orange orangey look today i'm just gonna throw this everywhere in the crease with a super fluffy brush this is from gwa flamingal brush set i don't think you can get these anymore but i do rate their brushes they're really good Okay, so this is what the style of shade looks like. Went on absolutely fine. No issues. I really like the look of this punch shade. Very 
orangey and this one called zing Ooh, that looks nice too and we got rush that's also nice okay i'm gonna go with candied sugar just to like gauge my thoughts because i literally don't know at the minute i'm using my zoeva 227 brush it's a soft definer brush um yeah i'm just gonna just place this on the middle for now because i have literally no clue what i'm doing so because i don't want to repeat myself from the previous videos i've done this palette because i don't know i might as well do a different look to the ones that i've done before with this palette so I'm being extra careful, I'm not choosing the same look. Yeah, I haven't really gone in much of the orange tones in this palette, so I'm gonna go with punch as well. My last two videos I think were quite smoky. I know I did a halo on one of them. I might go with Jaffa just to add some depth in here because that's got like slightly of a warm brown to it. So I'm gonna go with my P. Louise 182 brush. Darken it on the up corner a bit. I'm also gonna put Jaffa on the low lash line as well. I've also got my I Heart Revolution Inspired by Love highlighter. This is the triple baked highlighter and there is a shade in here this yellow one that I just want to use on the inner corner because I couldn't really find one of that shade in this palette so let's give that a go. Does this count as awesome? I hope it does. <laughs> oh that's pretty. See it already pops already because it's a highlighter so yeah. I'm gonna go with Candid Ginger again and I'm just gonna fill that gap there. Okay, so I might go with a shadow wing. So the darkest shade in here, what shall I use? I might go with Snaps. Let's see what this looks like as a shadow wing. Snaps is this dark burgundy shade, so hopefully this could work. I'm gonna try and pick as much as I can on the brush. I remember this foundation when I tried it, it was lovely, but the colour is just so wrong for me, I think. This is in shade 035. I don't know, it's been a while since I've been in this, so my opinions may change on the colour, but I don't know, last time I tried it, I just remember it was thick, it was the wrong colour. Yeah, this is, this is such a high coverage foundation, so if you don't like thick foundations, you're probably not going to like this, but it's got a very heavy scented smell. If you don't like perfumed products or anything that's super strong potent smell then this is definitely not for you because this proper smells like it probably smells like granny perfume no that's not no it's probably not nice to say it just yeah it it smells like my grand's perfume it does like look how dark it is <laughs> ah, this is going online i need to make it work i cover it everywhere it should be fine but yeah, it's so dark and I can't believe back in the time I actually thought this was acceptable. <laughs> um, I'd go on nights out like this with it being this dark. It's just so dark, isn't it? It is very hard to spread this foundation, I've noticed. It's taken me ages to blend, whereas I'm so used to my hydrating foundations, my Catrice and my Pretty Little Thing, the radiant foundations, so they just spread like a veil but this one i think it's because it's had more coverage it's taken ages to to spread across my face i don't know if it's like that for all heavy coverage foundations but this is taking its time dear me <laughs> i haven't used this in absolute ages i'm i'm just i'm just mm, i'm tempted to, to clutter it because i just don't use it this is the maybelline fit me concealer and it's in the shade number five it's gonna be so light against this foundation hopefully this can lighten up the foundation um yeah let's just put some on oh. 
I'm getting my sponge. I have no patience, it's so bad. This foundation is also matte as well, so it doesn't feel dry in there. It's left no dry spots on my face, so that's good. I really do like this foundation actually. Um, I just need to get a lighter shade, but it's still nice, yeah. That concealer I don't think has left much coverage. I just don't think the coverage is that like, great on it, so. Okay, so for powder, I haven't used this in a while. This is the Revolution Lace Powder. I used to use this all the time. Now I've been using my new one, my Laura Mercier, and my W7 Banana Dreams, which is this. I really like this. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this powder works again. I'm gonna use my sponge. The only thing about loose powders is so bloody messy. I feel like that's really set my face. I'm not gonna use any cream products because this foundation is quite matte and I don't want anything to lift. So I am gonna use, so I am gonna stick with matte products and plus the fact I've powdered. There's a bronzer I wanna dish out again. This is the Too Faced Sun Bunny. It's been ages since I've last used this. So let's give this a go. Yeah, that powder is really nice. It does feel set. So I'm gonna go in this. I don't know why I don't really use this much. I think it's because it's quite orangey on me. I don't know. Well, this foundation doesn't help anyway, but I like to use it now and again. Well, this is the whole part of the fun. Just going into products you haven't used in absolute ages and see if your mind's changed about it. Um, yeah, I do feel like this bronzer is quite orange on me, but Listen, the, the foundation was orange anyway. I feel like this bronzer is really nice. Yeah, the tone's a bit off, but it blends. That blends super nice. So a blush I haven't used in a while. This is hard. Um, so I do like to use my blushes quite a lot. Oh, I might go in my princess palette. Okay, I'm dishing this one out. So this is the Moana blush this here so it's been a while a serious while i've been in this so i need to go in this i remember this was really pigmented so i'm just gonna go quite careful with it it's got a bit of a sheen to it as well i think i remember i think it was more pigmented when i had a lighter foundation color um but yeah i really like this blush it's so nice really like that so for highlighter i've got two choices i've got the two face Diamond Fire, which looks like that. And I've also got the I Heart Revolution Unicorn Heart Glow. I think I might go with this. It might tie in with the eyes a lot nicer. So let's go with this. This is a nice soft glow. I'm gonna try um, spraying it. Give it that extra oomph. That's better. Sometimes you just need a little help with a spray. Yeah, I really like that. That needs to come out in my everyday drawer. Okay, so for lips. Now, I've got this one from I Heart Revolution. This came in their Tasty Hamper set. It's the gingerbread lipstick, which could look nice with this look. So for the lip liner, I'm gonna go with the Peaches and Cream Hotline lip liner. I think this might be a bit too dark for this look, but let's just... I'm gonna keep it matte today. I've been enjoying the matte um, lip recently. I have been typically adding a gloss over in the past a few videos, but I've been really liking the matte look on the lips for now. And I'm just enjoying it because my lips aren't as dry as more. So I'm just embracing the matte look for now. So for brows, I haven't used this in absolute ages. This is the ABH Dip Brow Shade Taupe. So we're gonna go in this. I 
Okay, I'm all. I'm just gonna do that for my brows because dip brows are very dangerous. I never know when to stop. So mascara, I haven't used this in quite a while. This is the I Heart Revolution Coconut Conditioning Mascara. I've literally got three mascaras on the go at the minute. That's it. This is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Is that right? Love. Uh, Tasty Coconut Conditioning Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. This stuff is so good. My next mas my next mascara to try is either the Rem Beauty one or Max Stack Em Up, is it? Or the L'Oreal Telescopic because th apparently that is like a cult classic. Um, so, yeah. This mascara is just as good though. Like, oh my God, it's going on my, oh my God. It's literally an eyelash. An eyelash, I went on oh my eyeshadow. Right, keep calm. Try to wipe it off with a cotton bud later. Um, that's so annoying. This mascara is so wet as well, like it takes ages taking it off. I'm just gonna have to wait a bit. Look, let it cool down a bit. Um, yeah, blendings have gone a bit poo on this side now, but we're just going to roll with it. Lashes today, I'm going to go my Meggy Lashes Style Daffodil. So a lot of people commented that they liked my lashes on the last video. I, I honestly don't know how. I just can't, can't see it on myself. I just prefer um, dainty lashes on me. I don't know how... I feel like it makes my eyes smaller if I wear lashes too big. I'm gonna finish off with the Pretty Little Thing set, oh, the lid just went flying, setting spray. Oh my God, it's powerful. Jesus. As for the lashes, I really couldn't pick lashes I haven't used in a while because I, I don't have a massive collection. I always go with the same ones at the minute. They have not applied great though. There's a blob there, ignore. <laughs> uh, I tried to fix it, but it can't be fixed. Here is the finish. Here's the finish. Here's the finished look um, of the ginger and orange palette with a few mistakes on the eye, but I really can't be bothered to fix that. And just what happens when I do my makeup, I make mistakes. So ginger and orange palette, great for the autumn. I really like how it's turned out. I love the popper highlight I use for the inner corner. I don't really use this as a bronzer or such or a highlighter because it's just too dark. So I like to dip into this, for example, today if I want to like put something in the corner or something and that's really showed up nice. But I've just added a bit more because it, it, I think it got faded away as I was blending the foundation <laughs> this foundation i still like it i definitely need to get a lighter shade the reason i haven't yet because it is very expensive it's a high-end foundation lovely considering how matte it is it doesn't pick up any dry patches but then again my face isn't really dry at the minute so it, i think it's leaning towards combination now it used to be dry i wouldn't use this when i was on my acne uh, medication um, that's why I left it alone for ages and because it's so dark. This blush is beautiful. This Mulan, no, Moana. <laughs> this Moana blush, Mulan came out with a powder. Mulan, Mulana? Moana blush is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the NARS orgasm, is it orgasm shade? Yeah, it does. Even though I don't have that, I just know what it looks like. Lip liner, peaches and cream. I always favorite these. Um, this was the hotline. What shade was this? Hotline lip liner, I haven't used that in a hot minute, so yeah. This gingerbread is definitely coming out for the autumn. Love this. I cannot wait for the I Heart Revolution gift sets. We've been talking about it in a Patreon group. We've seen the spoilers. It's definitely going in my basket, that's all I'm saying. You know what, I actually enjoyed using this ABH. I probably will get a, enough, I don't know, it's expensive in it. This highlighter is stunning. I definitely need to put this in my everyday drawer now. But yeah, that's the end of my video today. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me using products I have not used in a hot minute. 
I'd love to know in the comments what product are you gonna wear next which you haven't worn in a while yeah I think it's just good to look back on our collection and actually use the stuff that we own because we're all guilty of it we do leave things behind <laughs> especially palettes but yeah if you did like this video do give a big thumbs up show helps my channel and if you don't want to miss any content from me then hit subscribe button down below and yeah join my patreon if you like I'll leave that down below as well I hope you have a lovely day, night with time watching us, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!